February officially marks Black History Month in the U.S. It is one of the nation's oldest organized history celebrations, which highlights African American achievements and their role in U.S. history. It was started by Carter G. Woodson, known as the father of Black history. Woodson noticed that African Americans and their achievements were excluded from books and schools in the early 1900s. The son of freed Virginia slaves, he earned a PhD in history from Harvard and came out with the idea of Negro History Week to encourage Black Americans to know more about their own history. In 1915, Woodson founded what is known today as the Association for the Study of African American Life and History to promote Black history. Woodson chose February for Negro History Week because it coincided with the birthdays of President Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass, who escaped slavery and became a social activist. As celebrations were ongoing, Woodson promoted the week as a time to focus on African American history. The first Negro History Week was announced in February 1926. Negro History Week was widely successful, but Woodson felt more was needed. In the late 1960s, the civil rights and black power movements advocated for an official shift from Black History Week to Black History Month. In 1976, President Gerald Ford officially recognized Black History Month, urging Americans to seize the opportunity to honor the two often neglected accomplishments of black Americans in every area of endeavor throughout our history. Each year, the theme for Black History Month is chosen by ASALH. This year's theme is Black Health and Wellness, which will also examine how the U.S. healthcare system has often underserved the Black community.